So here it says determine the volume of this many molecules of carbon monoxide gas. So we have a lot of molecules to start with, and we've got to end up with liters, the volume. Well, what I don't see here is the word mole. Anytime you don't see the word mole, it's going to be a two-step conversion. So you're going to start here with lots of molecules, 7.55 times 10 to the 24th little tiny particles. We call these molecules. You're going to convert from molecules to moles, moles to volume. Two steps if you don't see the word mole. So here we go. Let's write down what we want to end with. We want to end with liters. We're going to start with the only number given to us in the problem, 7.55 times 10 to the 24th molecules. Now, we're immediately going to cancel out molecules, so put it down here. And then what do we know about molecules? Well, we know one mole is equal to lots of molecules, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Now, that cancels out molecules for us. That's good, but it gets us to mole. We want to get to liters, so we're going to keep going. Put one mole down here, and we know one mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 liters. So we know this is a gas, and we're going to assume for now it's at STP, 0 degrees Celsius, and pressure at sea level, 1 atm. So moles cancels, it gets us to liters. Do the math, this big number divided by the mole, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, times 22.4. And that's going to give us about 280.9, let's round it to three sig figs, 281 liters. And there's our volume of that many molecules. Lots and lots of molecules, pretty big volume.